think the term sports medicine is, uh, is really all-encompassing. If you're active, uh, you're doing sports in one way or another, and that might mean even walking to the store. Sports medicine really entails injuries to our joints, mostly our shoulder, knee, elbow, and ankle, that involve soft tissue. It's really these components of our joints that let us do our everyday activities. So while sports medicine injuries happen in athletes, they happen to everyone just as well. All of our patients have different fields that they return to. You know, our higher level patients, they may be returning to the tennis court or the football field or basketball court. However, we have other patients who need to return to the busy subway, you know, Grand Central, maybe that's their field. So we really try to individualize, you know, based on what our patients' uh, goals and expectations are and devise a treatment plan that's appropriate for that patient. We have to really assess the patient as a whole. What are the goals of the patient? What are their expectations? Not so much their real age, but what's their physiologic age? I mean, you can have an 85-year-old coming into your office who's got the mindset and the body of a 45-year-old who's out there running marathons, and you can't really treat that patient like a typical 85-year-old. Patients who come into the NYU Langone Medical Center complex are always impressed at one, how beautiful it is, but two, at how you can really get everything done under one roof. Your MRI, your physical therapy, seeing your pain management specialist, seeing your orthopedic surgeon, and even having your surgery done. I think we're evolving in every aspect of the care we provide. And part of that is the coupling of research with clinical activity. If there was a procedure out there that was giving 70 to 80% good to excellent results, that's not good enough for us. So we go back to the drawing board, so to say, and try and figure out methods or approaches or, or different techniques that can get us into that 90, 95% good to excellent results. And it's really, at this point, advances in biologics we think are gonna get us that rest of the way. Biologics is a term that captures all the accessory adjunct um, medical treatments that we use to help our athletes. So one is PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, is a technique where we draw patients' own blood and we then spin that blood to really get the growth factors concentrated. And it's those growth factors that we then inject into either tendons or joints to allow healing to occur. So the concept of uh, let the body heal itself. And then you can go to the next level of stem cells. And the idea of a stem cell is a stem cell can kind of become anything. It has all the positive growth factors um, that are responsible for the development of our joints and for the healing process. There's a congeniality with all the sports surgeons here, particularly at NYU, and we get along together, and the great thing is we share and discuss ideas. The people who win with that are the patients. 